I grabbed this box of borax for this spooky decor. I filled a large pot with water and poured in half the box of borax. I stirred frequently and heated it until the borax was completely dissolved. The water was near a boil at this point and it was clear. I placed a skull that we had collected from the forest into the water and positioned it so it was fully submerged. I removed from the heat and let it sit untouched. After 18 hours, I pulled the skull out and it created the spookiest crystallized skull, perfect for Halloween decor. To clean the pot, I reheated it until the borax was fully dissolved again and then drained it. I hope this inspired you to create your own spooky crystallized decor. I picked up these skeletal hands from Dollar Tree. So what I got to do is cut it right at the first knuckle there. Once you cut out that knuckle, the finger will bend right up. Just take some hot glue, put it in there, hold it in place for about 10 seconds, and it'll stay right there. I did this with every finger on four sets of hands. Next, what I did was I grabbed one of these fairy lights from Dollar Tree. But what I need is the battery pack and the lights themselves. Unscrew the light bulb, pull the fairy light out. This little battery pack just pops right out with your thumb. And all I need to do is get rid of that base there. This candle I also got from Dollar Tree. And I want to put the fairy lights inside. Go ahead and cut that square out on all four sides. The fairy lights inside. Hot glue on the side will be perfect. That will hold the battery pack in place. Just when I can't think I can get spooky enough, I grab a red crayon and a little lighter and let that drip all along the candle. Now with the board. For this project, I wanted to use some old pallet wood. Then I took some other scrap wood, put some glue on the back. I'm gonna use some brad nails to put that together. It's gonna hold these boards together and then I'll cut off the ends just to make them square. Next, it's time to paint it. I'm gonna use a little bit of black paint. Now, I don't want this to be solid. I can just go random on it all over and anywhere, but I wanna make sure I do get the sides. Then I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of gray. I need to put some nails and screws through there. Those are gonna hold the hands on. Once I get these holes drilled, what I wanna do is take the screws on the back end. Once the screw's sticking out, there's a little hole in the back of the hand. Just place that on the screw and start twisting. And once you get to the base of the wood, it's going to stop. You wanna make sure all the hands are facing the same way. Go ahead and grab some of that hot glue again, put it right on top. Last but not least, let's put a little Velcro on the bottom of that candle. One side on the candle, one side on the palm. That way we can remove the candle and change the batteries if they run out of power. We're gonna go ahead and put these all on here. I couldn't help myself, but I had a few fairy lights still left over. You'll see them lit up on the back. I also grabbed this little drape from Dollar Tree. It looks like a little spider web. Once the lights go low, look at that. It just glows in the dark. It's a spectacular project and I love making it. It's time to clean out those milk jugs. First thing we're gonna do after cleaning it out is mark the handle and the lid on the top because we wanna cut those out. Grab your heat gun. Heat up the label for just a few seconds and it pops right off. Next thing I had to do was order a resin skull, something that will take a bunch of heat. I did remove the jaw and what I've got to do is place it on a stand. Go ahead and grab you some two-part epoxy. Just place the glue once it's all mixed all the way around. Then grab the skull and you're going to place it on top. Hold it on there for about four to five minutes and it's going to be solid. Take that cut out milk jug and we're going to place it right over. Let's grab that heat gun again and we're going to just start heating up the top of the jug. We want to start forming it around the skull. The secret to know if it's ready to shape is it will turn from cloudy to clear. Make sure you have some good gloves on and just keep shaping. Watch this face. It's going to come right through because it clears up, meaning it's hot enough. What we want to do is poke it right there and we're going to push the eyes in. Not too hard though. We don't want to rip them out. We're going to heat it up and we're going to form it underneath. It's going to make it solid. We want to thank Jason F205 from Instructables for his wonderful tutorial on how to make these. As we do this, we're also going to grab some ice water and a sponge and use it on some of these detailed areas. That locks it in place very quickly because it cools the plastic fast enough. We're gonna go ahead and just shape everything around the head and form it in place using that sponge and that ice cold water. When it comes to the teeth, let's take that heat gun and a screwdriver, just push them on through to give it some more detail. Once it's ready, go ahead and go up the back of the skull with some scissors and it can just pop right off. 
Let's seal up the back. We just gotta grab that heat gun again, just on the bottom tabs, push it in place. Once it's formed, make all the milk jugs you want, and we're gonna start painting them, and it's gonna make a wonderful display. Stack these skulls up after we got some paint on them and some wooden flowers and a candle. We're gonna start this project with five skulls from the dollar store. Take your Sharpie and make a circle at the top of the skull, and you're gonna take that out, then we're gonna take an assortment of colors, starting with the cream color first. So we're gonna paint each one of the skulls. Next, we're gonna seal the skulls, and I used a Mod Podge sealer. Spray a thin coat of the sealer on each skull. Now we're gonna take some faux flowers or some different pieces that you find, and we're going to add those in the top of the skull. I have to say this turned out super cute and I think it's a great alternative if you don't want spooky Halloween decorations. You're gonna need two laundry baskets. If you can't find black laundry baskets, you can paint them and I'll be using Rust-Oleum black spray paint. Next, you're gonna need a skeleton and place them inside. And we're gonna take the other basket and place it on top. For this guy, what I've decided to use is hot glue. So I purchased some Halloween chain garland that we're gonna use to help hang him. So I'm gonna slide it onto a slat and hook it on like so. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So for this next version, you're gonna need two dollar store trash cans and a skeleton from Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna cut her little stretchy cord here. So I'm gonna take the strings and I'm going to thread them up through the trash can. So I'm gonna pull her up straight like this. Next, I'm gonna make a little knot and this will cause her to hang up straight. And I'm gonna place the two trash cans on top of each other. I'll be using black paracord to adhere her together. Now to hang her, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna loop it down through one of the holes and then work my way up through another hole. And then once I get it up, I'm gonna just give it some extra length for hanging. And now I've created a way to hang it. Here they are hanging in our yard and I'm so thrilled with how they turned out. So I found a container that would fit right down inside. When I have my plaster of Paris completely stirred, I can go ahead and stick into it my piece of PVC. About 15 minutes, it is ready to go. Oops. I got a collection of skulls from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to give these a coat of this chalky paint. I'm going to take each one and cut an X, one in the top of the head and then one down here. All right. I have my urn and I have my PVC post in the plaster of Paris. And I'm going to set this right down inside. So I'm just going to stick a couple pieces of styrofoam in there. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take them and I'm going to push these in just a little bit and slide them right down over and all the way down. And we're just gonna feed our skulls right onto that PVC post. This skull, I have only cut a hole in the bottom. So it's gonna go right over it and get secured right there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of hot glue right there to secure these together. I'm just going to add Spanish moss to give it that real creepy feel. And we're gonna wrap it around and tuck it in to give that real creepy feeling. And now right in by that styrofoam, I'm gonna stick some hands. And now our decoration is all ready. And here is our skull topiary. Make sure that you paint those skulls with a spray polyurethane so that the paint doesn't wash off.